A 16 year old girl was shot and killed last weekend in Baltimore City. Today, her mother is holding a protest calling for an end to violence. WMAR 2 News Mark Roper has details on that coming up in a live report. We're back after this short messages on Good Morning Maryland. 614 right now. Police in Baltimore have made no arrests in connection with the murder of a 16 year old girl that happened nearly one week ago. Her mother's going to hold a vigil for her tonight, calling for an end to violence. We have WMR2 News' Mark Roper live right now in downtown Baltimore. And Mark, she is hoping for a big turnout tonight. Yeah, good morning, Christian. She wants people to use the same energy that they use to march through the streets of Baltimore to protest against police brutality, to also call for an end to the violence happening almost every day on the streets of the city. Her name is Elajane Davis, and her mother doesn't want her to be forgotten. She remembers her daughter was a ball of energy who loved to dance, loved to make TikTok videos, and was always smiling. She says Elajane was a great big sister and a student at National Academy Foundation. Police say she was shot inside of a friend's car after taking a trip to the gas station. She was taken to a hospital where she later died. A 30 year old man was also shot. Brandy Thomas says her daughter was not targeted, that her death was completely random and that it's a problem in Baltimore which needs to stop. She's holding a vigil tonight at City Hall and hopes to see a big turnout like she's seen the last few days for George Floyd. Me doing this vigil protest for my 16 year old child, I'm basically representing everybody who lost a loved one, regardless if it was a child, a husband, a neighbor, it's a pain that you would never ever want to feel. Cause it's actually like you can literally feel your heart breaking knowing that a piece of you is gone that you and you can't get back. Now the vigil against violence is tonight at six o'clock right here at City Hall. Meanwhile, Crime Stoppers is offering a four thousand dollar reward in this case. We're live in downtown Baltimore at City Hall. Mark Roper, WMAR2 